So yesterday I had did a short on um, a case out of Kentucky where a sheriff went in and executed a judge in his chambers. Well, I promised you guys I would be bringing you updates on this case, so that's the reason for the story. We're not going to do this in a short, though. I need a whole video to break down some things that I found out, y'all. So I did this video last night, scheduled it to come out in the morning. Soon as my video dropped, someone dropped something in the comment section that I started looking into. And I, that's where I found out some things. Now, first we have to sit and use common sense. Why would a sheriff go and shoot a judge? Why would a sheriff execute a judge? Okay, we need to start with that concept right there. It's not going to be over reprimands or write-ups or someone raising their voice too much. Or It's not going to be about that. Not only... <sighs> Plus, y'all know I don't like 12, but I'm going to give credit where credit is due. This sheriff was an amazing sheriff. He was outstanding, the things that he was doing for his community especially those um, that are addicted and less fortunate. He's really out there helping his community. Take a look at this. Meet the Kentucky Sheriff that is redefining how people in addiction are treated by law enforcement. Sheriff Mickey Steins has been involved in law enforcement for a long time in his hometown of Letcher County, Kentucky, a deep Eastern Kentucky community like so many that have been plagued with addiction. The sheriff says him and his deputies are committed to helping people in addiction find recovery resources. In fact, he hopes to raise awareness to this somewhat new level of policing by documenting these encounters on the department's Facebook page. Incarceration does not work. You know, we've seen that for years and years. It does not work. And, you know, that's why we share the stories on our Facebook page when people reach out to us about sharing them because we want to show people that you can recover. It does work. See, he's an all-around amazing guy. And I've seen the stories that's been posted on the sheriff's site, but he also posts these stories on his personal Facebook page. I've been all across his Facebook. So what would make a man like this go in and execute a judge? Hmm? One thing about Sheriff Stein, and, and I found him under Mickey Stein, not by the legal first name that's there. This man here, he loves his daughter. Ooh, loves her to pieces. They do TikToks together and everything. He's always posting her. Here are some examples. I'm going to show you a, a brief portion of the TikTok. And the pictures are above. Absolutely beautiful, well-rounded young woman. The apple of daddy's eye. Now, if you go look at all the media coverage around this story, you will see them talking in fucking circles. You see them keep uh, saying the same thing. They never come in with any kind of conclusion. I even have screen recordings where you can see the people in the comment section saying, okay, what are y'all not saying? And then people from that community are commenting. The comment I received was someone from the community. It is being stated and said that this judge was messing with this man's little girl. And being the protective father that he is, he went in there and he executed him in chambers after their argument. Yes, taking a life of someone is wrong, but I can honestly say I support vigilante justice. You gotta leave people's families alone, leave people's kids alone. Also, from my understanding, there was this, uh, I think, investigation already being open. What I'm assuming is during that investigation, it was found out that one of the underage girls he was messing with, because that's what the investigation's about. They found out that it was 
Mickey Stein's daughter. This was going to eventually come out small town or not. They just weren't expecting for this to be the resolution of their investigation. They weren't expecting an angry father to go in there and take revenge. Well, he did. You guys tell me what you feel about this story. Do you feel like it was right? Do you feel like I do? Like vigilante justice is sometimes needed. And not saying he should get a pat on his back, but I don't think, you know. But it's a sacrifice he made for his family. That's how I see it. Because he knows that this man is a judge. And he more than likely is going to walk away and get away with this with a slap on the hand. He did what he had to do. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section. Make sure you like this video, share it. Comment and subscribe. Put that notification bell on all so you'll be notified anytime I go live, premiere, or upload. Unapologetically, Mika, out.